three or four times the operating system will show you the sticky case menu which is within the control panel so even if you don't have access to the control panel with the sticky keys you will be able to configure all the control panel of the operating system just clicking on save and so on it's easy to, to do this well let's do a demo with the a demo with Citrix <laughs> so well, this is the website of Citrix, <laughs> but this is the website for demo servers. So it's a demo, it's legal. <laughs> we got a user here, which is Tonto del Culo. It's, an, it's, it's, it's a Spanish name. <laughs> the rest of the username name was taken. <laughs> yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, it is working. <laughs> well, this is the environment. As you can see, in this environment, we got a lot of applications. We are going to use Excel because this talk is about Excel. So let's go to the <laughs> Office application and run Excel. Excel is working. <laughs> well, Excel is working. <laughs> well, right now, the system is downloading the client component, so. Open Excel. Launch. You have to open launch. No? Maybe. No, no, no. Execute. Okay. And launch. Well, something with Internet Explorer. But we are going to launch the Excel. <laughs> Excel is working, believe me. I start in Microsoft Excel. Internet is slow. No. No, man. I just connect to the No, no, no. No, no, no. Where is Excel? What? Oh my God. Well, okay, it is working at least in the end. Well, now connect to the, to the remote Excel. Come on. Please, if someone is doing a man in the middle attack in this network, please don't do it. <laughs> Moxie. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I Slowly. No. In English. <laughs> more slowly. Ah. 
Fagen International Excel. <laughs> hey, hey, just open Excel. We didn't <laughs> do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, open. Well, this is the Citrix environment. It's supposed to be secure by the guys of Citrix. So let's try to, I don't know, use the environment variable to connect to the system root. It's forbidden to the user profile. It's forbidden and so on. But you can do a lot of tricks. One of the tricks that we do was just to create a shortcut to the command, finish, all, show all files, and then run, <laughs> open. <laughs> oh. oh, they fix it. Ah, no, PowerShell. Too many consoles. Too many consoles. PowerShell. Let's change. Now we are going to use another console. <laughs> Same trick, another console. Open. It is yeah. working. Well, <laughs> go to the, the. And you get access to all. It's very complicated because every day the operating system is getting more and more complex, and the application that we are publishing through then are more and more complex. Please stop, 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 stop. Close this. <laughs> Don't trust in people from Sevilla, believe me. <laughs> well, the question is that the operating system is more and more complex and the application are getting more and more complex. So every application that you are publishing through terminal services is a path to your operating system or termi uh, through terminal services. One of our favorites is uh, the complex application. And of course, Excel is one of the most complex applications that uh, companies are publishing through remote application services. So the good thing is that Excel is a very powerful tool. And bosses love Excel because you can do a lot of funny graphics and analyze a lot of data, connect Excel to databases, perform data mining, and a lot of things which are very good for the business. And the good is that to do all that funny things, you need Visual Basic for applications. If you remove Visual Basic for application from your uh, Excel, your Excel become another kind of application, but Excel no more. So the idea is that with Excel, you can do a lot of things. Let's do the first demo just and in, this, in local. We got uh, a Windows 2008 with Hyper-V, no, uh, with Terminal Services, sorry. And we, in this environment, we published Excel 2007. In, uh, Excel 2007, the, we didn't use Excel 2010 because the security policy for macros are more or less the same. The main difference in security in Office 2010 and Office 2007 is about the sandbox, about the, the security option when you download the, a file from an unsecure location from the internet and so on. But once you, you have the file in your machine, in your computer, the security policies for macros are the same. So. In this environment, we are going to execute just uh, an Excel with macros. In a normal environment, in a normal environment when Excel is ex, uh, ex going to be executed in your local machine, the, uh, the security option by default is that uh, the user select if wants to execute the macro or not, because the user is running the macro on his machine. But in a terminal service environment, in a remote application environment, the security option by default, which is case by case, the user decide, is a bad option because the user is running the visual basic for application not in uh, their machine, but in the server machine, which is completely different. In this environment, we are going to execute just uh, a file with visual basic for applications. Details, it is working. Well, in this example, we created a, a panel. And this is the by default option. The user decide, OK, enable this content on, or not. OK, enable. It's not my machine. 
So, so now you can, if, if the boss came, you, you can show the graph. It's, it's, it's a good trick. Then open the, the panel. <laughs> so just, you can do a lot of things with Visual Basic for application. For instance, uh, see the process and so on. As you can see, close. You, through, the, you, uh, through the Windows management instrument station, you can, through commands, res retrieve the results and show it, show them on the Excel file. Okay, let's close it. So if we, we go back to the presentation. <clears throat> well, uh, after seeing this demo, it's clear that you have to take care about the security in, of Excel in remote environment. One of the first things that system administrator, administrators should, uh, tend to do is to block some special consoles, like Command Con, like uh, PowerShell, uh, WMI, and so on. But there are too many consoles, and, and in Windows Server 2008, the backup uh, directories copy all those uh, consoles, which uh, uh, that uh, um, that um, it creates a double problem because you have the double of consoles. But in this environment, we got in this environment, we are going to have all the consoles forbidden. We got uh, and using uh, ACLs and using uh, server restriction policies, we are going to uh, forbid all the consoles that you are going to see. But we can use consoles even from other operating systems. This is a trick that was published by Didier Stevens, and the idea is that you can inject a DLL into your Excel file, and that DLL is a common interpreter. So just uh, invoking the common interpreter from your DLL, you are going to have access to the server. So let's do a demo with this. So if we go to the Windows Server 2008 and try to, uh, to uh, server, yeah. and try to execute uh, command con, it is forbidden. It is forbidden. But in the Excel file that we are going to open, we got a DLL of ReactOS and also a, a DLL for the registry, uh, registry ed editor of Reactos. So just open the file and open the command line. Now the Excel file is uh, extracting the DLL to execute it, and we are going to obtain the Reactos command interpreter. <laughs> Excel is working. I hope. Well. <laughs> Here it is. So you can see we got the Reactos command interpreter, and it's like the command, like the command uh, interpreter of Windows 2008, and, and eight, more or less the same. So this is a good trick. So go back to the slides. Ah, and of course, in the tax manager, you cannot see the CMD because it's a DLL which had been loaded by the Excel file. So it's not in the, in the tax manager. The user is only working with Excel, <laughs> which is good for the company. <laughs> <laughs> so go back to the slides. All the slides. So of course, as, after seeing this demo, some of you uh, could think, OK, we are going to disable all the markers for, uh, for my machine. If you use the first policy, which is disable Visual Basic for application, is for all Office application, not only for Excel. It's for Word, PowerPoint, Access, and so on. And for Excel, you got four options. The first one is execute all macros, which is unsecure. The second option is case by case. The user decide. Of course, if the user is the attacker, it's an unsecure option. The third one is no macros at all. So. In this demo, we are going to select the no macros at all in an Excel file published through a remote environment. So we go to the Windows 2008 and select. We are going to, to log off the 